Rhapsody was playing on the jukebox in the pub that Justin and I were in on Millennium Eve um, when he sprung to his feet and started contemporary dancing and acting like a complete <laughs> um, and had the, the entire pub in stitches and, um, and it, it was that moment when, um, you know, it was like, right, okay, you're a complete star. Up to that point that Dan described, it's like um, I've always seen myself as primarily a lead guitar player. And uh, I think to be a singer is a totally different gig, it's much more intense. Headed to Venezuela for nine months, went jungle trekking around there, and then I uh, got an e uh, email from uh, Justin saying that they were uh, starting this band called The Darkness, which at the time I thought was a terrible name, but I've since grown to love. You know, get the boys back together and, and do it properly and, and not stop until it's, until it's done. We we're looking for a name. We looked at options like forced entry and uh, women who exaggerate. Um, but we chose the darkness because it seemed like the, perhaps the least appropriate name that we could have. It's a perfect name for us because um, the second you hear the music and, and hear the name, the first thing you know people put the two together. And, uh, why? So people are asking questions straight away. We could have called ourselves Monster because we're a rock monster. Because someone has already done that. Yeah, that's a good point. We're sick of being in Britain and always having a prefix. It's always, is it rock? Is it spandex rock? Is it peacock rock? Is it hard rock? Which is kind of okay, I suppose, classic rock. Hopefully in America, we believe that we'll be looked upon as a rock and roll band and they'll think, does it rock enough? We went, went along to a new old fashioned week just with this donkey. It was like a miniature donkey. Somebody just went, donkey. Yeah, yeah alright. The way I perceive America is they've got two cool bits on the end which respond to hype and then the rest of it is so fragmented that you have to kind of, there's no one radio station that can break the entire continent if you like. You have to go everywhere and be everywhere and have a strong work ethic to be able to get anywhere. And all these bands from the UK that say, oh we didn't, we failed, we didn't crack America, they've only failed because they've stopped trying. They would appreciate the work ethic. I mean, in America, from what you from what you gather by watching television, is that people are kind of um, their identities are largely based on how good they are at their jobs, and we're really good at our job. You know, it's like you see people with like Terry. I'm Terry. I work here. That's my name. That's my job. You know, I'm and, so and that's their identity. You know, but we're Justin and Ed. We're in the darkness. You know, and we're really good at our jobs. to you know have some time to yourself in the hour leading up to the gig there are certain physical warm-ups so we're gonna do I don't know what you call it in England but when you do this a raspberry it's a raspberry that's what we call it mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good so you're gonna do a raspberry which releases the jaw releases the lips so you're kind of trilling your lips and the tongue at the same time so it gets the tongue out of the way so try that <laughs> that's big exhale. and then there's the the run-in which is like um, an hour up to the gig you, you basically stop talking to people outside of the, the close unit. It means we should hit Cleveland for about three o'clock. Or... Yeah. Okay. So we're leaving at 11 in the morning. Well, yeah, we've got just in. Just watch, please. On the nuts, sir. <laughs> and then, you know, the half hour on the, the run up is um, vocal warm up. Roll the tongue around the teeth, go in one direction. Mm. Mm hmm. Keep this going until you're about to tear up in your eyes. Mm-hmm. And then go the other way. 
on the tail. Yeah, it's just really good for the base of the muscle to go around. Mm -hmm. mm. I like to sniff ar aromatic oils and do my sort of vocal warm-ups and stuff. Just go for a few simple scales, not pushing it too hard. It's really hard to get fired up with this age, man. Come on! There's a lot, lot of preparation goes in, into it, but basically, um, you know, it's getting yourself into the headspace. Let's get physical, physical. Let me hear your body talk. I want to get physical! <laughs> I want to get the cereal. I am worried. <laughs> we do a nice group hug, don't we, someone usually administers a very rousing speech along the lines of let's go out there and do a show and then we're out there doing a show so then have some fun so let's go enjoy the fun enjoy, enjoy yourselves thanks for every time well, you've got it yeah yeah that's all you got anything <laughs> 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 